So quickly, just the things that you're going to need to get started are, of course, fabric. Um, here in Israel, we work by meters, so I got half of a meter. Of course, just scissors, a mini skirt that you already have in your house so that you can use it as an example. And I like to use a marker. Oh my God, my dog's chewing my marker, hold on. Hey! And you are going to need a marker to mark up the fabric. It doesn't really matter if it's washable or not. And like I said before, all it is is just the planning beforehand. Once you plan everything and you have everything and you mark up everything, I mean, the sewing is literally just 10 seconds. So I'm just gonna show you how I mark up the fabric. So let's do that. All right, so as you can see here, I just laid out my fabric face down on the floor, on the carpet, wherever you have at home. And then you're just going to take your example skirt and place it here on top of the fabric. What you're gonna need to do is add another inch or another two centimeters onto your, like where you're gonna mark so that that's gonna be the seam allowance. All right, so as you can see, I marked up um, the skirt plus a seam allowance here in green, and now what I'm gonna do is just cut it out. So I'm gonna do that. So once you cut out the front part of the skirt or the back, it doesn't matter, they're the same, you're just gonna place it again. Um, but the thing is, I forgot to tell you guys before, is that you have to make sure that you are cutting where the fabric is stretch, stretchy, like it should stretch to the side. You're gonna do the same thing here, but you are not going to add any more room for seam allowance because you already did that, so. Just mark and cut this out of here. And then you're gonna have two sides. All right guys, say hi to Milo again. Milo, say hi. <laughs> now that you've cut out the two sides, you are almost done, you're just, you're just going to place them both right side in, flat on the ground. Make sure that they match up pretty nicely. And then you're gonna pin up the sides here and here, and then sew along with the machine. And at the end, you should get a really nice skirt. This might look a little big to you and that's okay. I mean, you can make sure to sew a little bit more, like sew maybe an inch in. And if it looks a little too small, you know, sew less. You can even try it on after you pin it and see if it really fits nicely or not. But what I always recommend is not to do it too small because you can never, I mean, it's harder to make a skirt bigger if it's already too small and you can always make it smaller. So if it's a little too big, that's okay. You can always take it in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin this. I pinned both my sides of the skirt together and now what I'm going to do is take it over to the sewing machine and I would recommend to do a um, zigzag stitch because this is a stretch fabric and that's why it's so easy. You don't have a zipper or anything, but you need the fabric to make sure that it stretches. I'm gonna take this over now to the sewing machine and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. So actually, I'm gonna show you. Um, here. Let's go. All right, so this is my sewing machine. Um, sorry that it looks like this. <laughs> I don't know. This piece of plastic fell off. It doesn't really matter what color thread you choose because, I mean, it's not gonna be seen. It's on the inside. Just don't choose like crazy colors, like, you know. So I'm just gonna thread this guy up and sew up these two sides. Once you're done sewing up both sides, as you can see, I did my zigzag seam. I am just going to put it inside out. So let's see how it comes out. We are basically done. That is our skirt. Um, these edges are raw, so if you want, you can hem them. You just um, fold this in, iron it, and sew a hem around so that the edge doesn't look like this. You can do that. You don't have to, but this is the finished product. I'm gonna try this on for you guys so you see what it looks like. So I've tried on the skirt and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Tiny bit still big on me, so I'm just gonna go in again and take in a little bit more from one side. 
And then I think it might be a little too high waist. I don't know. I might, you can either cut this or hem this down if you want. And I'm also gonna do a little hem here. That is it guys for the tutorial today. <laughs> my dog will not stop licking me. Milo, stop. I hope you liked it. This is the finished product, unhemmed of course, but I'm gonna do that quickly and show you how it comes out after I wear it and take pictures. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you that at the end and that's basically the skirt. It's very easy as you saw. I did it here literally like in half an hour this morning. So if you guys wanna try this out, please do. And if you liked it, leave me a comment down below or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a question or a comment below. I'd be really, really happy to answer. And I really hope you liked this easy tutorial. So until next time, you guys, bye.